we're going to start with one of the restaurants we ate at on our last trip, a new restaurant for us. Um, we had never, well, it's a new restaurant for Disney too. So it's a new restaurant for us because it's never been there before. It's called Homecoming, H-O-M-E-C-O-M-I-N, no G, Homecoming. Um, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Now, Mrs. Mom and I are pretty much Food Network junkies. We watch the Food Network. We watch a lot of shows, Chopped, uh, Beat Bobby Flay, The Next Iron Chef. I mean, we just, uh, we just watch all kinds of shows on the Food Network. Um, and one of the chefs that shows up from time to time on the Food Network is Art Smith. And he is really one of Mrs. Mom's favorites. I mean, he's kind of goofy. He's really laid back. He's Southern. Um, he's from Florida. Um, and he's just kind of a cool dude. He's just a nice dude. Um, so when... And his food usually on these shows looks pretty good. So we thought we'd try out Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. Um, the restaurant just opened last year. Um, and it specializes in Southern food. Uh, you know, Southern soul food. Fried chicken, uh, shrimp and grits, Fried green tomatoes, deviled eggs, moonshine. Really, they serve moonshine. This is a southern cafe. Um, so it is really down home, really relaxed, really laid back. Um, and it's got, I suppose, uh, it talks about having down home southern style food, which is right down our alley. That's what we eat. That's what we like. That's why I weigh as much as I do, because I grew up on that stuff. Um, it, and when I saw fried chicken, you had me. I like fried chicken. So um, we made an ADR. Our ADR was for 8.30. We were, that was the night, it was the night we were coming in. We were spending the night uh, and then going to the cruise the next morning. So um, we made an ADR for uh, 8.30. Of course, um, I knew that was kind of late because I wanted to leave a little leeway in case we were delayed. But anyway, so we arrived uh, uh, right on time. We got to, we actually had time to go to the hotel, unpack a little bit, and then we went over to Disney Springs about, uh, we got there just a little before 8 o'clock. Well, we got down to uh, Homecoming at 8.04. Now, it was cold in, in Orlando last week. When we got there, it was like 35, 36 degrees. That is cold cold when you only got a sweatshirt and a jacket on. Uh, we were both really cold. So we get up, go up to, um, to the, the um, check-in desk and it's outside. And this poor little girl, I think her name was Stephanie. I, I remember Stephanie's because my daughter's name Stephanie. My assistant's name Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, that name kind of sticks with me. But anyway, this poor little girl Stephanie is sitting out there and she's from, she's from uh, Florida and she is freezing. They've got one of those big pole things that's got the heater in it and she's snuggling up as close as she can to that. Uh, when we walked up there, she had one ear up against it trying to warm herself up. Um, so... We we talked to Stephanie. She says, okay, let me get your phone number so we can send you a text. It won't be very long, so don't worry about it too much. So she took our phone number. Three minutes later, we got a text. It was time to go. We really had been just standing right there talking to Stephanie because nobody else was around. There were some people inside, but nobody else was coming up for their ADRs. So we go in. We go to the podium. Now, there are people standing and waiting in the restaurant but uh, we go to the podium and this uh, the, the lady the girl at the podium just takes us right to our table it's 807 our adr is not till 830 we're already being seated early when there are people without adrs that are waiting but they were waiting in the heat so um it that was good so we got right in server comes over in a couple minutes asks us what we want to drink we say iced tea he said sweet uh no, not sweet. Oh, come on. Surely. No, we're not sweet tea fans. Yes, I know we're Southerners, but we're not sweet tea fans. All right. So we get seated. We got our orders. The tea came. I got to say, the first thing 
right off the bat that service wasn't really quick. It was kind of slow. Um, now, Art Smith's, Chef Art Smith's Homecoming is a open kitchen. You can sit in the dining room and look into the kitchen. So we were kind of watching as they were making food. Um, <clears throat> we ordered um, a shrimp cocktail to, to start. It's called the Key West Shrimp Cocktail. I ordered the fried chicken and Mrs. Mom ordered the kitchen plate, which was three side items. Because she wasn't really all that hungry and she just wanted side items and the shrimp cocktail was basically for her. Um, all right. So then we waited and we waited and we waited and we watched things come out of the kitchen. Oh, that's ours. No, it's not. Oh, that's ours. No, it's not. And finally, here came the shrimp cocktails. Now, I love shrimpies. I like little shrimpies. I like to eat shrimpies. They make me happy uh, on the cruise. And they had uh, shrimp at the lunch buffet every day. I had lots of little shrimpies. But, um, okay, so this shrimp cocktail, you think of a shrimp cocktail in a glass with shrimpies sitting around the edge of the glass, uh, ice in the middle, and some uh, some cocktail sauce, right? Well, that wasn't quite how this uh, Key West shrimp cocktail was. It was a pile of stuff. It was about, oh, say that big around, about that tall, you know, two, three inches tall, two, three inches around um, in a circle. <clears throat> and it had shrimp and it had um, avocado and it had um, slaw and it had cucumbers and it was all right there in a pile. So, okay, it was a lot of food. It was a pretty big pile of stuff. It had lots and lots of shrimpies, like 30 or 40. I mean, there's just a whole pile of shrimp. So we started to eat it. I took a bite. Oh, those shrimp are a little spicy. Uh, Mrs. Mom kind of likes spicy stuff more than I do. So she she liked it. It was a little tart for me. I ate three or four shrimp, but uh, I was waiting for the chicken. Anyway, so <clears throat> it was a good size appetizer. Really good. 15 bucks, I think, is the price on it. But it was a good size table appetizer. Uh, not so much for an individual, but for a table. All right. So, uh, done with the uh, shrimp cocktail. Um, Mrs. Monk kind of kept it because she was going to eat it with her, her um, plate, her kitchen tray plate. Uh, anyway, so we ate the cocktail and we waited and we waited and we watched. People get their food, and we watch people get their food. And finally, here comes our our uh, chicken and mom, Mrs. Mom's kitchen plate. Um, okay, so I start to dig into the chicken. I love chicken. Pick up a drumstick. Going to start with the dark meat and keep the best for last, the white meat. So I jump into the drumstick, eat the drumstick. Oh, man, that's so good. The, the breading was just perfect. It was fried. It was juicy. It was really, really good. Oh, yes, drumstick's good. Let's try the breast. Pick up the breast and start eating the breast. And I, hey, there's something missing here. Um, the breast was great. I mean, not the breast. I'm sorry. The, the thigh, the thigh piece, um, the little thigh piece. I eat the thigh piece. Still eating the dark meat. Oh, man, this is good. This is good. Um, and finally, I noticed there's no bone. There was no bone in this thigh piece. There was no bone in the thigh piece. It was all meat. Cool. Dad's in heaven. Um, so then I, I picked up the breast. Uh, well, yeah, I picked it up. I'm eating with my hands. Fried chicken. Eat it with your hands. Um, while the dark meat was great. Now, you got to know, I am a breast man. Now, don't get that wrong. I'm talking about chicken. I'm a breast man. I love chicken breasts. Um, but this one... It was overbreaded and overcooked. And because it was overbreaded, the place where it was overbreaded, it was soggy. So then that was the first thing I bit into. Oh, that was not good. Um, but anyway, overall, the chicken was really good. The breast was dried out, which was a little bit of a disappointment. Mrs. Mom had macaroni and um, cucumbers and what was the other thing? Um, anyway, I should know. I have it written down, but I can't look for it anyway. So... She liked it. She liked everything, but um, it was just a lot of food. All right, so we ate dinner. Next came time for dessert. We loved dessert. It was a, we were going to get a chocolate piece of chocolate cake. 
and ice cream. Um, man, what could be better now? We talked about going over to Sprinkles and getting um, cupcakes again because those were really good. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> it was cold and we didn't want to walk over there. So we got our chocolate cake. It finally came. It's about 9.30 by now. Uh, <clears throat> it finally came. And, oh, it looks awesome. Ice cream, chocolate cake, um, and and walnuts um, just really looked good. Only problem was it was made, I don't know, three or four days earlier. It was dry. The chocolate, it didn't really have a lot of chocolate flavor. It was really disappointing. Really disappointed in the dessert. But the rest of the meal was good. So basically the bottom line is Chef Art Smith, I liked it. Dark meat chicken was great. White meat, maybe it was just a bad piece. But overall, I give Chef Art Smith three stars on uh, Dad's Disney dish. Uh, three stars for Chef Art Smith. Thanks so much for watching Dad's video. For more simple, fun, magic Walt Disney World information, go to Dad's Guide to WDW.com. You can do that by clicking the i button that's popping up on the screen right now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Dad's YouTube videos with Daditude.